quick demo to show you how to actually pay your bills, which is print checks. Up until now, you've created a vendor, you have recorded the bill for the vendor, from the vendor, and now you have to pay the vendor, actually issue the checks. Go up here to the plus sign, pay bills. And of course, this is our demo client. Uh, this is the bill payment screen. We're going to pay this out of our checking account. I'm going to start this with 72. Leave print later unchecked. Well, it depends. If you're if you have checks in a printer and you're printing them from QuickBooks, then go ahead and save and print. Or you can say print later and do exactly that if you're printing your own checks. Many of my clients do not print their checks, they handwrite them. I'll show you how to do that in two seconds. Here's the payment date. You can select any or all the payees. I'm just going to select them all. So we're going to pay these on today from the checking account. Many, what you should do as well is run your payment run uh, every maybe two weeks so that you can catch everything that's due. And what you'll do there is filter. This is today. You want to do it for two weeks, so you want to catch everything up to the next bill pay session. So you're going to pay the bills today, and you're going to pay them again on the 22nd. So you're going to say, hey, I want to catch everything that's due up until the 21st, for example. It'll show you the filter. Once you filtered it, then you can select all and then go ahead and pay your bills. At this point, all you need to do is say save and close. You don't have to save and print. It says this already exists. That's fine. We'll go ahead and do that. Obviously, we wouldn't do that in real life. Now what I'm going to do is go to reports. I want to get the check detail report. I would put the filter for today's date, the 8th to the 8th. And then it shows you the checks that you've printed today. Now what you can do is hand write those checks and match them up with the check number on uh, that's been recorded within QuickBooks. Thank you.